Modern Video Marketing Essentials. In the previous discussion, I've walked you through the process of reverse engineering your competitors and then making your videos better. The next step involves following the essentials of modern video marketing to make your videos more effective. How come? Well, if you follow these tips, your videos will probably be more visible on YouTube. When people search for your niche, they're more likely to find your videos. These tips mostly turn on visibility. They are aimed at getting you eyeballs for your videos. Mention the keyword in the video itself. A lot of newbie video marketers on YouTube screw up by just packing their description as well as their video file name and video title with their target keyword. That is spam. Don't do that. You can mention your target keyword in your title once and then maybe a related keyword in the subtitle. That's it. Don't overdo it. Don't stuff the description or title of your video with keywords. What you should do is you should mention the keywords in the body of the video itself. So, when you're doing your video presentation and your target keywords are metal military figures, save that phrase from time to time. It has to flow naturally. It has to be a natural part of the video conversation you're having with your viewer. Why do this? Does Google even know? Well, it does. Because when you upload a video on YouTube, it automatically transcribes it. This happens after a few hours. So, you upload a video and then after a few hours, there will be a transcription. Now you're out of luck when the transcription is in another language. Sometimes Google's algorithm does this, but oftentimes it's in English. So, with this transcription, Google can determine whether your video actually talks about the keywords that you put in your description or title or file name. Put your keyword in your title. This goes without saying. This should be obvious. If you have a target keyword, put it in the title. It has to be natural, but try to put it as close to the beginning of the title as possible. Write attention-grabbing titles. Now, you may be thinking that this makes a lot of sense. You might even be thinking that this is obvious. Well, it's not that easy. Remember, you're already going to be putting your target keyword in your title, and sometimes it's very hard to come up with attention-grabbing headline when you have an awkward keyword. So, you might want to play around with this for a long time. Ask a lot of people and see if you can come up with a nice, compact title. What makes this even more difficult is that you cannot use really, really long titles. It would be great if you could do that, so you can basically just write a mini story, but you can't. Use LSI keywords in your description. LSI keywords stand for Latent Semantic Indexing Keywords. These are keywords that are thematically related to your target keyword. So, when you find the most related keywords to your target keyword and you put it in a description that makes grammatical sense and flows naturally, you're creating context. When Google's powerful search engine's video search algorithm process your description, it gets an idea on the context of your video. It's not just some random video that popped up. It has a specific context. Put a call to action in the description. Your description must not only describe the video with your LSI keywords, but it must also call the viewer to action. If your video does a great job and you talk about your description, when they look at the description, they should be called to action. Maybe they could click a link to join your mailing list. Maybe they could click a link to read more materials on your blog. Whatever the case may be, call them to action because otherwise, that's a failed opportunity. That's a missed opportunity. Call the viewer to action in the video itself. Don't drop the ball on this. Your description should call the viewer to action, but your video itself should also call the viewer to action. Maybe it's an audio signal or maybe it's a video sign. Whatever the case may be, call them to action. Get them to do something. Excite the viewer about all your social media accounts in the video. As much as possible, tell your viewers that you can be found pretty much on all major social media platforms. Show icons of your Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Google+, and Facebook pages. When you do this, you create the impression that your viewer can actually get more content from you and can interact with you in so many different ways. You're not just on YouTube. Ask the viewer to ask a question or otherwise engage with your content. It doesn't hurt to ask the viewer to share, like, or comment on your video. Even if the easiest ways to do this is to ask the viewer a question. For example, you published a series of nightclub guides where you hop from country to country. At the end of your latest video, you can say to your viewer, which nightclub, which city, and which country would you want me to go to next so I can shoot a video? You can ask for requests. You can ask for comments and feedback. You could ask if people had a problem. Whatever the case may be, when people engage in your content, 
YouTube tends to rank your video higher because engagement indicates that people are actually paying attention to your video. This also increases the likelihood that people would watch your video all the way through. Viewing duration also plays a big role in how well your video ranks. Don't lose sight of these modern video marketing essentials because they're crucial in making your video more visible. However, for you to reach this stage, you must first create videos that have completely demolished your competitors by packing a lot more value.